Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. This should be a pretty useful tutorial for map makers or casual players of the game because I'm going to show you how to do locked or password chests in Minecraft. That is right. You can actually do this with only one command in the game. It's really easy to do. I'm in Minecraft 1.17.1 and I'm on the Java edition. Now I'm pretty sure this will work for Bedrock, but um, finding out the coordinates might be a bit more tricky on Bedrock, but it definitely works for uh, Java edition for sure. And also if you want to see more Minecraft content from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any videos. But uh, as you can see, there is a chest right here. And if I try and right click on it, it is currently locked. Now, this is a locked chest in Minecraft and we can actually put a password on this bit of paper. Now, it doesn't matter what item you use, but I'm just using a bit of paper to make it more like a code or a password. So the password needed for the chest is the following. Of course, that is the best password in the world, am I right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is the password right here. And if we then right click with this password, it gives us access to the chest. Now, if we then use any other item, it doesn't work. So this is the only item that can actually open this chest right here. Now, as I said, you only have to do one command in the game to actually get this password chest system to work. Now, in order to do it, you need to place your chest where you actually want it. And what you then do is go directly on top of the chest. Now, what we then need to do is we need to do the following command. We have to do slash data and then merge and then block. Now, what we then need to do is on Java edition, we can do tab three times. And what that will do is it will actually put the auto completed coordinate of the block that's currently below us. Now, if you cannot do that, all you need to do is write in the coordinates of the chest. So you need to place the coordinates of the chest block you want to do in the command right here, all three numbers. And then once you've done that, is you then need to do open a curly bracket and then do, uh, you then need to do lock. And then in double quotes, you then need to put in a password. Now, what we can do here is we can do Minecraft rocks as a password, and then we close the curly brackets. Now, as soon as you do that, it will say modified block data in the log. And as you can see, the chest is now locked. And in order to actually open it again, we need to get the password. Now, as you can see, this is the old password I had. Now, if I put in the new password, like so, and then use this, this will allow us into the chest. Now, the very nice thing about this password system is that it is case sensitive. So if we actually rename this so that it is lowercase r instead, so technically it's a different password. If we then go back to the chest, then the chest is locked and you can't get in. So it is case sensitive this system, the lock is case sensitive. So you need to make sure that the password is completely correct, like you would on a game or a web page on the internet. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video. I'm sure some of you will actually find really good uses for this. And obviously you can use it for custom maps, survival world, survival servers, all kinds of different uses. But if you did enjoy this video, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. And if you want to see me on Twitter or follow my Twitter, then my Twitter is in the description or you can use the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Dracky series on Twitter. 
And also, if you want to see more Minecraft content, so Minecraft tutorials, Minecraft seeds, Minecraft mods, all kinds of different content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal so that if you could help me achieve that, then that would be absolutely amazing. I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a nice day and see you next time.